Dr. Student, myself Dr. Kaji Astabali. Today we will learn about pharmaceutical aerosol part 2. In my previous video, we have learned the various steps of making the nomenclature of liquefied gas propellants. Today we will explain in details about the nomenclature and numerical problem on liquefied gas propellant. Nomenclature of liquefied gas propellants can be done in two ways. In first way, we can convert the designated number of the propellant into its chemical name. Number to name. And the second way is the chemical name to its designated number. Name to number. Name to number. Now, in first case, a designated number of the liquefied gas propellant is 11. First step is convert the designated number into three digit. Three digit. First digit, second digit, and third digit. Now, first digit plus one represents the number of carbon. Second digit minus one represents the number of hydrogen. And the third digit itself represents the number of fluorine. So it is clear that the first position will replace with carbon, second position with hydrogen, and third position with fluorine. So in this number, one carbon is there, one carbon, and it has four valences to saturate the compound. Here no hydrogen is there, zero hydrogen is there, therefore no hydrogen is there, but one fluorine is there, one fluorine is there. Now the remaining three valency can be occupied with the fluorine atom. Fluorine atom. So its name will be three chlorine is there, therefore it is trichlor. One fluorine is there, therefore it is monofluor. So complete IPAC name will be trichloro trichloro mono. Chloro methane. Trichloro monofluoro methane. Now we can easily convert the number 011, propellant 011, into its IPC name that is trichloro monofluoro methane. In similar manner, we can convert the propellant number 114 into its chemical name. First place is carbon, second is hydrogen, third is fluorine. According to the rule of nomenclature of liquefied gas propellant, first digit that is 1 plus 1 will represent the number of carbon. Second digit minus 1 represents the number of hydrogen and third digit represents the number of fluorine. Therefore, two hydrogen is there in this structure. Two, uh, sorry, two carbon is there. It has six valency. Now in this structure, it is clear that four had four four fluorine is there. Four fluorine, 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 fluorine. Hydrogen number is zero. Therefore, two remaining place will be will be replaced with fluorine atom. Now it is clear that the name of the designated liquefied gas propellant will be dichloro, two chlorine is there, therefore dichloro, di, dichloro, four fluorine is there, therefore it is tetrafluoro, ethane, ethane. So this is the procedure of making chemical name from its designated number. Now we are going to the second way, that is chemical name to number chemical name to number
and you can name to number. For example, the chemical name of the liquefied gas propellant is C Cl2 F2. C Cl2 F2. That is dichloro dichloro methane. Dichloro dichloro methane. Here carbon number is carbon is one. Hydrogen zero. Chlorine two. In the process of uh, nomenclature, the designated number will be number of carbon minus one. Minus one. That is zero. Hydrogen will be the number uh, exists plus one. That is one. And fluorine number itself will express the number. That is two. So the number of the dichloro difluoro methane will be zero one two. That is propellant twelve. In this way, we can convert the chemical name to its designated number. Now we are going to a numerical problem on blend of liquefied gas propellant. Every propellant has a specific vapor pressure of its own. When these are combined to each other, then the resultant vapor pressure which is produced inside the container, we can calculate easily. For example, calculate the vapor pressure. Calculate the vapor pressure of a propellant blend consisting of propellant propellant twelve and propellant 114 in the ratio in the ratio of 17 to 30 70 to 30 at 70 degree Fahrenheit here given data hard the vapor pressure of the pure component of propellant 12 P12 equals to 84.9 84.9 PSIA that is pounds per square inch absolute. Similarly, vapor pressure of pure component of propellant 114 is 27.6 27.6 PSIA. This is the problem. Now, how to solve it? How to solve it? First of all, write the chemical name of propellant 12 and 114. Propellant, propellant 12. Chemical name of propellant 12 is CCL2 F2. And chemical name of propellant 114 is C, Cl2, C2, Cl2, F4, C2, Cl2, F4. So this is the chemical name of propellant 12, this is the chemical name of propellant 114. Now we have to find the molecular weight of these two propellants. In case of propellant 12, molecular weight, molecular weight equals to C, atomic mass of carbon is 12, atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. Two chlorine atom is there, therefore into two plus atomic mass of fluorine is 19. 19, 19 into 2 equals to 12 plus 70 plus 38 equals to 71. This is 71. This 50, 50 plus 100. This is 121. Similarly, molecular weight of propellant 114 equals to 2 carbon is there, therefore 2 into 12 plus Cl2 that is 35.5 into 2 plus fluorine, 4 fluorine is there, 
Therefore, 19 into 4. 24, this is 24 plus 71 plus 76 equals to 170. This is 70. Therefore, molecular weight of fuel equals to 121. Molecular weight of 114 equals to 171. Now we have to find the moles of each propellant mole. Therefore, N12 equals to weight divided by molecular weight. 70 divided by weight of propellant fuel was 70%, that is 70 divided by 121. Similarly, in 114 equals to 30 divided by 171. Now, mole fraction, that is H12 equals to N12 divided by N12 plus N114. That is 70 divided by 121 divided by 70 divided by 121 plus 30 divided by 171 equals to 0.64 sorry this will be 0.7 0 0.76731 Similarly, mole fraction of propellant 114 will be N114 divided by N114 plus N12 equals to 30 divided by 171 divided by 70 by 121 plus 30 divided by 171 equals to 0 0.23269 we may get this number by subtracting this from 1 so here we can write x12 equals to 0 0.76731 and similarly x 114 equals to 0 0.23269. Now, according to Raoul's law, we know that the partial vapor pressure of any component of a propellant blend is equal to is equal to the product of its mole fraction and the vapor pressure of the pure component that is x12 into p120 that is 0 0.76731 into into it was 84.9 84.9 psia which is equal to 65.14462 65.14462 PSIA. Similarly, partial vapor pressure of propellant 114 equals to X114 into P1140. That is, vapor pressure of the pure component equals to 0 0.23269 into 27.6. 27.6 PSIA which is equal to 6.4224 psi. Now, the total vapor pressure of the container will be P equals to P equals to P12 plus P114. This is done according to Dalton's formula equals to 65 six, uh, 65.14462 65.14462 plus 6.4224 which is equal to 
12 and propellant 140. 